Hi guys and welcome to May is your ex coming back series. So this is dedicated to the people who kind of like still have this connection to their ex or they're feeling the ex might be coming back. Just keep in mind that if you kind of decide in your head that you don't want to take him or her back, that's the final answer. So that kind of like trumps any other influence and you already know what you're going to do about it. Still, sometimes it's fun to see how they're thinking in their own head. I'm going to show you the significators uh, because I have developed this product. <laughs> it took me quite a while to actually find a combination and you can imagine finding a combination of seven we have here in Ontario uh, 749. So you pick seven numbers out of 4 and 9. So I picked seven numbers out of 78. So actually much, much harder. So hence, it is really difficult to do this. But finally, I find something that really, really works. And these cards are from a different deck. Think of that as the chapters of the book. I'm going to explain to you what they mean. So before I get there, just to let you know that I actually started the first group of Terra School. I'm really excited and I'm so excited because everybody in the school is like so much fun. It's just like, oh my gosh, you want more? Here, more. If, if ever in life, you know, one can actually wish for it, this was the one and oh my gosh, I have to tell you, I am so excited. So the next round is going to be the 15th of May. You can sign up. The link is in the description box. And I actually decided I'll have small, uh, basically, groups. Initially, I thought it's going to be a self-study, no guidance of mine. But uh, I'm actually interacting by actually fixing the homework, checking the homework, giving guidance. So hence, it's going to be more of my hands-on. So. You can join in, now I'm getting a clear idea how this is going to go, and as I said, it's going to be a limited group, maybe 10 at a time. I kind of like took, I think, quite a bit in this first round, but that's okay because I love how insistent and how basically intense they are because they're going to make this really, really good for everybody else who follows. So okay, so let's jump into this, this X spread kind of like has this elements, has this, let's call it dimensions, that I really want to address over here. And they make sense. You see, in this group that is represented with a magician, I want to see what in this relationship works. And sort of like, what are these like brownie points that you can earn like without much effort. So, also it's going to tell me if this relationship was ever a go. In the second house, the temperance is reversed purposely because temperance usually makes things work. But I really want to see what is tearing this relationship, ap relationship apart and why the issues have been experienced over there. Then we have two significators. One, and I don't go with astrological things, and if you ever go in my school, you will understand why. And this is basically telling me what kind of like personality you have to be when you date because you're not the same person when we date and when we settle in so hence it's going to be one significator and a second significator and here and the cat is trying to f just trying to destroy my headset over here here we are going to see the energy in between like this this like flow of love and exchange and what's going on and now these two cards the judgment is going to tell me what card what karma is thinking about this whole mix? Is this doable? Is it workable? How to go about that, right? And lastly, we will have the four of wands. Generally, four of wands always talks about the next stage. So what is the next stage in this relationship? Is it good? Is it bad? It's going to depend on the sign. And lastly, how I do the signs. Um, keep in mind that most of us are just humans. <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually live in a very quiet part of Toronto, really very much to the river and forest, but sometimes we get these noises, especially at 5 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. So, if you are watching this because you're still connected, sometimes we have the karmic bond, sometimes like, it takes time to get over a relationship, then it is really good to check for both of you. 
It's also good to check for your partner's Mars sign because Mars sign tells you really what they want. You can just Google, you know, find the natal free natal chart for uh, anybody and you will figure out what is a Mars sign for somebody. And that way we can kind of like determine really what is the really good chance of this relationship. And last point, guys, this is a general reading. So I'm focusing on you and you already have you and somebody else in mind. You're already holding the energy of not only two main signs, but also their ascendants and everything else. So I'm accumulating all this energy, focusing on it, shuffling the cards toward that energy and, and delivering. It is different when I'm doing the private reading. And this spread is on the special. It is still 50 bucks. I'm keeping it because when people are in distress, I really don't want to make money of them. The regular price for this is 65 but I have been keeping it discounted. And now it's also a speed-up promotion that is happening simultaneously. So instead of waiting three weeks for this to come back to you, you're getting it within a week. So it is a good deal to try it. So... Let's start with Mace, is your ex coming back? Hi Taurus, welcome to your May forecast, is your ex coming back? Right off the bat, I am seeing two karma cards. Looks like that relationship really shook you up. Um, there is this feeling of, oh my gosh, you're having like two cards with these swords up. Look at that. They are both kind of minimizing things. They are both looking for something that is justice, but not necessarily legal justice. This is falling in a category of what went wrong. I will tell you, I definitely see here, we have the two of pentacles reversed and five of swords reversed. I do see the third person. And why is this falling into karma? It kind of like feels like it was a situation where one person was not certainly mature enough. It was, hey, you know what, I am... Page of Sword is like a very young or, you know, boisterous personality. When you, you know it all, you know how to do things, you are not even questioning yourself, which basically makes you stupid, right? And it looks like you have been dealing with that kind of a partner. It was like, oh, me, 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 me kind of a thing, right? And things have been turning and working against, uh, so this person is not even taking responsibility about the things. And it looks like they karmically messed your life. Now, when we get into this kind of situation, you, you just cannot say, oh, okay, I'm just fine. I'm so good because I'm not rendering the judgment here. I'm just saying, yes, this is not what we want to go through it. But at the same time, this for you guys was a major lesson. Because it tells me that some of you Tauruses are still communicating your love to, to this person. And this person is saying, yeah, on my terms. But look at this. Queen of Swords and Page of Swords looking at each other. So this is sort of like some kind of duel over here that I see that needs to be somehow resolved. There are issues that come here to play and you do actually have some kind of characters possibly you know Libra another Taurus Leo Scorpio and Aquarius showing up over here that kind of like have this like very intense uh, maybe even battle of words so be very careful what you say because I think when when there is somebody who is so immature this is sometimes giving this gaslighting kind of thing especially with this page of swords who is like always ah, kind of like down your throat like i mean well there is somebody who really doesn't have social skills right so thinks think of it as Taylor Stero, somebody who is just blurring things out without actually having a knowledge and just telling you this is the way it should be no um, this is a person who needs to grow up, 
this is a person who kind of like needs to go to the next stage and kind of realize that when you juggle uh, things and when you hurt other people, you know, there are consequences, not only that, you know, you're hurting the other person, but there are consequences in terms that your life is affected. You are digging the hole underneath of you, which is a karmic hole, and it is really, really clear. So let's go to the next stage over here. Whoa. Okay, what do we have here? King of Pentacles is usually to me a married guy. I usually see somebody who is strongly kind of like well, mind you this could be you this could be you kind of establishing yourself maybe you're minimizing things that you just actually don't want in your life you're getting complete clarification that maybe this continues so some kind of like a love affair that have been kind of like done here is just causing you too much turmoil this is what they call it wash machine brain you keep repeating to yourself things over and over hey i you could have had such a beautiful life with me and you know when we're trying to convince ourselves this kind of stuff but check it out eight nine nine ten ten eleven and then one see what i'm talking about the wheel is telling you we need to circulate to the next stage so I don't know, kind of like, look, one person is very unhappy, another person is happy. Was this person with somebody? Because ten of cups are talking about, but it's a final stage. So it's talking about, hey, I'm happy how this ended because now I have all these options and I can kind of go, go, go and run whatever I do. And somebody, maybe you guys here are obsessing and hence there is like this kind of like status quo over here okay you know what I, I kind of like need to be on my own need to kind of like figure out you know how to continue going from here because nine of um, pentacles I actually really like nine of pentacles contrary to some readers can tell you doesn't mean that you uh, you're single nines have uh, that spiritual meaning that you really need to figure out what is it makes you happy what comfort zone is really important for you in fact they are very long term where you kind of accomplish something and you're just about to start a new cycle so it's almost like revisiting hey you know what you caused me too many tears and this is too high of the price to pay to be with you that kind of a thing so let's continue further Let's continue further. Ooh. Hmm. And there it is, another 10 over here. You see, not able to go to that stage, but it's, it's actually not bad. Oh boy, I see karma in motion over here. I absolutely see karma in motion. You see, when this <laughs> individual who knows everything, who are... Generally, this person usually is not well educated because, you know, the more you know, the more cautious you are about who you are. They call it a dancing cunning actual experiment that they did, and don't quote me at which university, but I think it was an Ivy League university. They ask students who just finished an exam, how did you do? So, well, I did okay, I did great. Well, I don't know. So... Then they compare to what they said with the actual results. And ta-da, what happened? The ones that just did dismally on the test really thought they are so important. They are quoting themselves 70-80% and they did around 20%. But those who did very well, 70% to 100%, they always quoted themselves down, good 10 to 30% down. So this actually shows you that stupid person doesn't know they're stupid, but they compensate it sometimes with belligerence. And smart person is always kind of cautioning uh, themselves, hey, hey, don't think that you know everything. Just kind of have a reservation about that. So this is something because when the wheel comes to play, something is turning. And these are kind of like really big changes. So it almost looks like the karma has been evoked to come here in your kind of like case stories. And even though it is kind of like, 
you're trying to find your sea legs, you kind of like fell being left out because of situation that has been done. But you're kind of like getting to this realization that, hey, this is not going anywhere. That home and happiness and a dog and parents and grandparents and being happily ever after is just not going to happen, right? It could be for some of your situation where you actually have children involved and hence you kind of like really wanted to keep that family unit together. But at the same time, you feel that this is also not the best for that particular child, right? So this is that pain of rejection. There is like this pain of facing the situation. And that's why they have rain. This rain really signifies our tears. But when I said karma is a bitch, look what happens to them. They're getting to the situation where they are still continuing to, let's say, oh, I'm such hot, I'm too hot to throw out, I'm so amazing. But they are clueless because this person doesn't know who they are. They are living in fear. They're living in denial. They'll continue to compensate with anger, belligerence, calling people names. They might be charming too because that actually can indicate a little bit of narcissistic thing but they have no luck with the ladies so the only thing that for me kind of like looks here there could be two children involved page of wands and page of uh, pentacles we have this one here but i think this is on them so Let's see what happens, guys, Taurus. I would love to hear your comments, what's going on here, especially if you're a cross-watcher, so I kind of like to sort things out. But you are definitely getting out of a cold. You're kind of like firming up because look at this, pentacles everywhere. And I do have to tell you, justice sometimes doesn't get served in the moment, but it does serve eventually. So don't take justice in your own hands. Just sit and wait and see what happens. Because something really good for you will actually start to happen. So don't fret. Thanks, Taurus. But this is general reading. To get yours, it's on a special. Contact me on my website, www.ketera.ca. And I'll look forward to hearing back from you. Love you. Oh, my God.